In this lesson, we're gonna cover installation of Unity. If you already have Unity installed and you already have the latest text stream, then you're probably good to go, but I would recommend that you watch this through maybe on 2x speed. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do if you don't have Unity installed is go to the unity.com page and then look for their download link. I have it at unity.com slash download right here. And you can see there's a button to download for Windows or download for other versions. If I scroll down here, this is what that download for other versions option looks like. There's a Windows one, a Mac one, and Linux. We're gonna completely ignore Linux, but if you're on Windows or Mac, just click on whichever one is your current operating system. Hit the download button. It should download your installer. And once it's finished, just hit the open button or download and open your installer however you do it on your system. Once the installer starts, you'll see the license agreement. Just hit agree. Choose an installation folder. I'll use the default. This is for the hub, not for the actual Unity installs. So it's gonna be a relatively small download. I wouldn't worry too much about where you're putting it. Probably just leave it in the default location. If you wanna worry about where you're installing the bigger versions of the editor, which is what we're gonna be getting into, or the full actual editor versions, you can do that when we go to the editor installation part. So now that the hub has finished the installation, we'll just hit the finish button and allow it to run the hub. I'll allow firewall access and then the hub should look like this. If you don't already have a Unity account, you're going to need to create one. If you have one, you're good to go. Just sign in with it. Let's go through the creation process real quick. I need to give it my email address, a password, which has some pretty strict requirements, a username, my name, and then agree to the terms of service and prove that I'm not a robot by clicking on some, it looks like bicycles. There we go, that's not a bicycle. And fire hydrants. I guess that's kind of a fire hydrant in there. All right, now I'll create my Unity ID, which is gonna be just this Jason Wyman 2023. And I should get an email that I'll go confirm. Yep, I got it right here. Let's hit confirm and then continue. Oh, I've got to prove I'm not a robot on the phone first. Now we continue and I have my account. I didn't automatically sign me in though, so I'm gonna to need to go over back to Unity and sign in. So minimize this tab, hit the sign in button, and then allow it to use the authentication through the web browser. And there we go, look at that, I didn't even have to put in my password. Now it's gonna ask me where I'd like to install Unity and allow me to select a version of Unity to install. Right now by default it wants to install 2021.3.16 F1. This is the LTS. This is not the version of Unity that I wanna use though. So we're gonna change this. We're actually going to hit skip installation, hit agree and use the personal license. And then we'll choose, I don't want to switch to light mode, so I'll hit maybe later on that. And then on the installs section here, if you don't see this section right here, just go to installs. If you're on projects or learn or somewhere else, go to installs, choose the install editor option. We're gonna find an official release that's not the LTS because I wanna use 2022.2. If there's a 2022.3, which I don't think there's going to be, or if a 2023 point something is here, then go ahead and use that. But I wanna use something slightly newer than 2021 because there are just some new updates coming. It's gonna be an LTS for 2022 very soon. And I feel like there's a couple of cool features in the newer version that you should be aware of and be using. So let's install 2022.2 and hit uh, install. Then we get this pop-up here. Now here we have a couple of options that we can choose. We can use the default code editor, which I'm going to leave installed by right now, but we're gonna talk about code editors later and talk about installing another code editor later. We also can choose if we want Android support, iOS support, support for Linux, Mac, or Windows. What I do want is WebGL support. So choose whatever ones you want. Don't over choose and select a whole bunch. But if you're thinking, yes, I definitely want to build out to my Android device, you can choose the Mac when, or the, the Android option. You can always go back and reinstall or re-add these later though. So don't feel like you have to, 
But if you're looking at options, just make sure that you get this WebGL build support because we are going to do WebGL build so that you can set up an automated build that's going to deploy this out and allow you to just play every time you do a commit. It's going to be very cool. You want to make sure that you have that. So I'll choose WebGL and leave the default code editor. Hit continue. Agree with the terms of service and hit install. Then we'll let this install. It's going to take a little while, so I'll be back when it finishes. Once the install finishes, it should look like this. You should see 2022.2 or whichever version you've installed along with the platforms that you've installed support for. If you don't see it, maybe you're in the pre-releases or official releases section. You should be in official releases. It really shouldn't show up in pre-releases. That's where your alpha and betas are, but you should see everything in all. This can end up having a lot of installs of Unity. I generally recommend keeping maybe up to two or three of them around. They get relatively big, so as new Unity versions come out, I try to keep an LTS version around and a text stream or two text stream versions around, and occasionally I'll have an alpha or beta. Th those versions I want to make sure to clean up and just delete later because they do take up quite a bit of space. Now we're done with the install though, and it's time to create a project.